Hi, I'm Emily from Family Services at Yarra. Today we're going to show you some ideas about singing and playing with your baby. And first thing we're going to do is acknowledge the traditional owners on the land where we're meeting. So this is the land and this is the sky. These are my friends and here am I. We acknowledge the elders of the Wurundjeri Woi Wurrung people past, present and future, on whose land we learn and sing today. And we learn the word in Woi Wurrung for welcome, which is Womanjeka. Yeah, shall we sing a little welcome song, Emmy? Ready? Womanjeka, Womanjeka. Womanjeka, Womanjeka. Womanjeka, welcome. Womanjeka, welcome. Womanjeka, Womanjeka. Why should we sing, rhyme, tell stories, bounce, and tickle our babies? Research into brain development, attachment and language acquisition underscore the importance of holding, rocking, singing, face-to-face -face interactions and using rhythmic, repetitive language with babies. Listening to you sing and seeing changes in your facial expressions are different experiences to hearing recorded music. Your baby learns to mirror your expressions and sounds. The movements involved with songs and rhymes encourage muscle development and spatial awareness. Here are some ideas to get started. So we're going to sing to our children their names and as the babies get older, they'll recognise their names. Yes, so we're going to sing hello and maybe because there's just the, the few of us here, I'll sing to you as well today. So, <laughs> very good. Hello, Emmy, how are you? Everyone is singing just for you. Everyone is doing a tip, tip, tap, and then finally a tiny little clip, clip, clap. Finally a tiny little clip, clip, clap. Hello, Charlene, how are you? Everyone is singing just for you. Everyone is doing a tip, Tap and then finally a tiny little clip, clip, clap. Finally a tiny little clip, clip, clap. Yay! So one of the things we can help our children learn with singing and with rhyming is lots of skills for the eyes, for the ears, and uh, some of the pre-speaking things can come when we practice these songs together. <laughs> so watching your hands. Open, shut them, oh. Open, shut them, give a little clap. <gasps> open, shut them, open, shut them, and lay them in your lap. <gasps> and then we're going to creep up their bodies. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, right up to your chin. <gasps> open wide your little <laughs> mouth. <laughs> And do not let them in. We roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them just like this. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. Blow a little kiss. Now we're going to walk down to their toes. Walk them, walk them, walk them, walk them right down to your toes. Diggle. And then you can lift the hands or you can lift the whole little one. Lift them up into the sky and touch them to your nose. And you can do a kiss on the nose. Mwah. We might play our shakers now, our musical toys. So I've got a shaker and you've got a lovely colourful shaker. Yeah, can you see that one? We're going to sing about the shaker going up. Now my shaker's up. Higher, now my shake is down. Dancing in a circle. Now my shake is dancing all around the town. Wee! Dance it by your shoulder. Dance it by your head. <laughs> Dance it by your knee. And then hide it. 
tucked it into bed. Where's it gone? Shaika, Shaika, where are you? Find it now. Here I am, here I am. How do you do? Perfect eye following there, Emmy. Looking at the shaker, it's up in the sky. Shaker, shaker, music maker. Shake, shake, shaking around. Shaker, shaker, music maker. Make a shaking sound. Ah, can you hear it, Emmy? You can. Can you hear it making a shaking sound? Very good. Lullabies and routine songs help babies self-regulate and grow their understanding of what's coming next in their day. Children that are sung to settle faster and are often able to rest longer than those spoken to. Researchers at the University of Montreal in 2015 showed infants remained calm twice as long when listening to a song compared to those who were listening to speech, found Professor Isabel Peretz. This is an English, an old English lullaby, but I've changed the words to have Australian animals. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a wombat and a magpie. And if Emmy would, I know she's just had a sleep, but if she'd like a cuddle, <laughs> we could do a cuddly, cuddly time. And we can have a little rock and a little cuddle with mum. This is really repetitive, so you'll probably catch on quite quickly. All through the night. All through the night, all the little ones are sleeping. All through the night, all through the night, all the little ones are sleeping. In a hole down underground, little wombat can be found all through the night, all through the night, all the little ones are sleeping. Magpies nest up in a tree, <sighs> my warm bed, it's best for me. All through the night, all through the night, all the little ones are sleeping. They're sleeping. Very good. In conclusion, be yourself. Explore the songs, rhymes and activities that resonate with you and your child. Make up your own songs and games. You do not need to be perfect at this. Your child wants to hear your voice, not always recorded professional music. Be gentle, loving, playful, silly, and most importantly, use repetition and be present for your little one.